Hi guys, my name is Ali Abbas and you are watching my channel, The Training Temple. So, in today's video, we will be talking about something slightly different than what we normally do over here. So, in this video, I am going to be discussing about study techniques. So, let's start. What are study techniques? Study techniques are basically methods which help us improve our, our the quality of our study. Like for example, if you open a book, you have read through a chapter. You can't remember anything. Like you have studied, you have worked hard, you've read the chapter, but you can't remember any of it at the time of the test. So basically it means there's something faulty. There's some trouble with your studies. So with these study methods, you can increase the quality of our study. So as you know, I'm also a student and I just thought that it would be so fun if we could just experiment with these different techniques together, you know? All right. So in this video, I'll be discussing about two techniques, the Feynman method and the Pomodoro technique. So I'm going to start off with the Pomodoro technique. So the Pomodoro technique is basically for people who have trouble focusing, people that experience burnouts, that don't want to study. They say, no, I'm too busy. I don't want to. I, they, they hate studying. So the basic, the, the theory of this is that when we sit down, we take our phone, we set an alarm for 25 minutes and we're supposed to study in those 25 minutes and then then after the 25 minutes have ended, the alarm has rung. We're supposed to be taking a 5 minute break and then continue with our study for another 25 minutes and then take another 5 minute break. This is supposed to keep us, let's just say refreshed and we're not going to have a blackout or a burnout. So basically. In the five minute breaks, you're supposed to solve a Rubik's cube or just walk around the room, eat a snack, something like that. But the theory of this is that the brain cannot stay focused on a single thing for a long time. So by using this technique, we were using this technique, we can refresh the brain and continue studying for long periods of time. And I myself have tried this, and it works for me. So I'm sure it'll work for you guys as well. So let's get on with the second technique. The second technique is the Feynman method. So the Feynman method, basically the theory of this method is that when you cannot understand something, no matter how hard you try, you're supposed to open that book. You're going to take one line of the topic, one paragraph of, the, of that topic and try to understand it bit by bit. And after you've understood that, just like, okay, let me explain this in simple words. You've read, there's a like a whole page. The topic consists of a whole page and you cannot understand it at all. You'll take one paragraph at a time and then you'll totally read it again and again until you've figured something out and try to write it again as simply as you can and then repeat it again and again until you've had and, and until you have your own simplified version of the topic and then you're going to look at your simplified version. You're going to check for mistakes and then you're going to simplify it again and again and again and again until you've had a very extremely simple version of that topic in your own words and this is only for understanding you're not supposed to write this down in the exam because it might not be good enough so this technique is only for understanding only for understanding only for understanding the topics i mean considering like a sentence let's see let's think of a complicated sentence um huh yes i know um, Jack went to his monetary deposit and encased some valuables there. This is a complex sentence and people have, and it's difficult to understand it for a normal person. So if a person use, just takes the sentence and tries to simplify it, he can say Jack went to the, Jack went to the bank and deposited some money. It's simple. Simplify it more. Jack went to the bank and deposited and no, it can't. Let me think. How do you simplify it more? Jack went to the bank and deposited some money. That's as simple as can be. You're supposed to simplify each difficult sentence, each difficult paragraph into a, an extremely simple, as simple as, as simple as it can be. You're supposed to write it down simply, extremely simply. Then keep writing it down simply, keep writing it down simply until you have an extremely simple version. And you know one thing, the main part of this, as you're writing out it down, making it simple, you're supposed to, like you're taking the first thing, the first, the first page, the actual page of the topic. 
you're going to read it down. You'll be, and then you'll look up. You'll read, you've read it, and now you're looking up. You're going to try to teach it. What have you read? You'll teach it to somebody else in your own words. No, you not exactly somebody else. You don't have any friends. You can just do it like this. Like you can pretend you're teaching someone. Read the book from the actual page. So I'm telling you the way how to simplify it. So you're going to get up. You're going to, you've read the page from the book. Now you'll be teaching it to the air that this means this, 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 and you're going to keep explaining it and until and when you've explained the whole paragraph as simply as you can, you're going to write it again. You're supposed to make it as simple as you can. You'll be explaining it to someone. You'll be trying your best to explain it. I'm going to go back to the first page, the actual page. Try to explain it as simply as you can. And once you're done, you've done it as simply as you can from there. You will write down your explanation for that specific paragraph. I'm telling you how to simplify. I've already told you what you're supposed to do after you simplify it. You'll keep simplifying it like this, keep simplifying like this. After you've done from the real page, you'll take your next simplification, teach that simplification, make it more simple, then simplify it again and then make it more simple until you have an extremely simple text. And you know the textbooks, they're extremely difficult. When you use the payment technique, it makes it so easy for the person to understand what's actually written. Whether it's in your own words, when you've written something down, psychologists have said when the thing that we have written in our own writing is much easier for us to revise. And when they've written something in our own words, in our own writing, it will be much, much, much simpler for us to revise it and understand it. And then we can write in the difficult terminology. Well, I think I've explained it as well as I could. And that's all for today. Bye, guys.